Welcome to my channel folks. Uh, in this video, I want to review plastics. Yes, Oathmark Goblin Riders. This just came in, some goodies. So let's go to the tabletop and check out some Oathmark Goblin Riders. Okay, so Oathmark's uh, Battles of the Lost Age, uh, Goblin Wolf Riders. You b can build 15 uh, Goblin Wolf Riders. Uh, they are hard plastic, 28 millimeter figures. Okay, and, and they come in a couple of different um, varieties. You can do like scouts with bows. You can do spearmen. You can kind of mix and match. So uh, there are a couple of op options in here. And you get the little, you know, how they go together. So this is a typical rider, and the wolves are just halves. So there's like five parts to the riders. Look at all that plastic. Oh, just choking in plastic. Yes. Plastic. Love plastic. All right. Well, you get quite a few sprues here. And these are the cavalry bases, and you do get, yep, uh, 15. Cavalry bases and looks like okay. So your wolves are separate. Your wolves and these are the riders. Okay, so not bad detail in the wolves. And I'm gonna get my little pointer so I don't get my big fat fingers in the way. Okay, so good detail. Um, very nice. I, I love all the fur texture here. And then it gets really plain. And that would be interesting to kind of do some painting. Maybe some uh, variations in, in pattern. You know, fur pattern. So not bad. And then they have their little attachment points. So you can glue them to the base. Good poses. So you get a, a couple of different poses here it looks like. Some of them don't have the tails. I'm going to have to... I suppose that they are in the other sprues, okay, and these are all basically the same. You, those are the two halves, right? They should be opposite halves, and so you get uh, two, four, five of those, okay? Looks like five of those sprues, and then you get your riders, and there's uh, three sprues of riders, and as is typical for this range, uh, all the sprues are the same. The variation comes in, you know, one of the sprues itself. Okay, let's just focus on some of that detail. Um, and here's my pointer. If I can get it um, in camera. Okay, nice, um, nice detail here on the uh, arms here, right there. Nice detail on the arm. There's the chain mail. He's holding the arrows. So I suppose that's for the scouts. You got here, looks like some leather and studs, some chain mail, um, like scale mail. Okay, so really cool because um, they give you a variety of sort of uh, torsos, a variety of different um, uh, armor. Okay, and here are the heads, and this is what I was curious about. And look at all the variation in the heads. Okay, there's a lot of variation in the heads. Different races of goblin. Um, this one here with the helmet looks like he's uh, very looks very orcish. Okay, and some of them look like pigs. Yeah, like this like this guy looks like a pig. Cool. So I, I, that's what I was curious about because um, I wanted to see uh, these goblins are more humanoid, more like humanly proportioned for lack of a better term, okay? And uh, it's refreshing, to be honest. Uh, spears, all the spears, there's the spears, okay? And let me see uh, if I can find, there you go, some of the uh, swords. Look at that nice curved blade. Very cool, so good selection of weapon arms and such. Here's the standard, right there, and you're gonna have to uh, make your own banner. That's easy enough. So all in all, a nice, uh, nice kit. And these are good for conversions because they have so many parts. You can uh, 
kit bashed them with other other kits in the range. And this is North Star Military Miniatures. Uh, they make really good models. I, I like them. Okay, these are all the same sprues. Okay, so you get three of these, five of these, right? And you make 15 miniatures, and you also get the three bases for the sprues. So very, very cool. Um, and uh, just while I have you guys here, this is a, I found a bunch of these uh, Lord of the Ring orcs. These are GW's uh, Lord of the Ring orcs, and... These are like 15 years old. And in Oathmark, you can still use uh, whatever miniatures you want. It's just that they now have a range for it, right? And uh, I was thinking of using these Lord of the Ring orcs. Use them as goblins for Oathmark, as infantry. And so I was looking at, very curious about the goblin riders. And of course, these are not 28 millimeter. Um, they're they're, lot, they're smaller, but when you're comparing with the torsos, they look pretty good. And even compared to the wolves, okay. So, I I like it now. That means that I can use uh, that Lord of the Rings range, and, and I found a, a ton of them. I have to restore them, and now I have some goblin infantry to go with the. Goblin Riders. Very cool, folks. I'm very excited about Oathmark. And we're going to be talking about the core rules for Oathmark very soon. And look at the artwork. Isn't that awesome? Love that. And they do. They are very tokenish, the, the whole design. Um, but I really, really like them. So, there you go, folks. Thank you for watching, and we will talk very soon. Well, folks, that was it. That was a little uh, Oathmark unboxing. I'm always excited when I get goodies. Um, it, it looks like a really good kit, and I will be very busy now putting these together and also putting together the Snake Men for uh, Ghost Archipelago. This is all in the same range. Um, this author has some of our favorite games, uh, McCullough, Joseph A. McCullough, and he does Frostgrave and uh, Ghost Archipelago, uh, Rangers of Shadow Deep. You know, those are all his uh, rules, and we've uh, liked them all basically. So, um, Oathmark is going to be very interesting, uh, and I hope to play that game right after Vanguard. We have Vanguard coming up uh, in, in the channel, but I really hope to get uh, more involved with Oathmark. So, off to the workstation to start preparing these guys and I will have a follow-up video once I've kind of put them together and uh, and then you know and painted or whatever and you'll see them uh, once they're done uh, but the range I put together a lot of models in that range and they all pretty much uh, go together to, similarly right and they're they're very good for conversions because of that because you can mix and match you know if if you have if it's in your budget you know, to get the extra boxes or whatever that you need but excellent for conversions all right folks thank you so much and uh,